so we wanted to know what to do. And things just developed, and we said, you know, everybody's talking about Pope Francis. Uh, I have a friend, a professor from Bentley University, who claims that he is not Christian, although he was his good Italian name, but he says he's not Christian. Uh, but he doesn't stop talking about Pope Francis. And he sends me everything that he finds on, 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 on the internet on Pope Francis, he sends to me. Uh, I, was, I was driving the other day, and I, I had, uh, on the radio there was a discussion going on about Pope Francis and his, his uh, apostolic uh, uh, exhortation. Uh, and people were saying he didn't go far enough in condemning capitalism. He should have. Talk more about the, the, the moral issues of greed and the moral issues of, 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 uh, of egotism and all of that, consumerism. I was, I was amazed. This is on public television, public video. I was amazed. Uh, and then they, 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 um, they concluded this section by saying, and he even condemned sourpusses. <laughs> and the comment was, you've got to love a guy who condemns sourpusses. <laughs> so there's something about Pope Francis, I think, that has that has sparked uh, the, the, uh, the general imagination, not only of Catholics, but of all, of all people. And so we thought that it would be a good idea just to share, just to share your own reactions, your own thoughts, your own considerations about Pope Francis, about things that he has said or done, ways that he has influenced you in your own, in your own lives so far, uh, ways in which uh, he, he comes into your studies, those of you who are doing theology, uh, so that we can get an idea of the, the, the Pope's influence uh, amongst us, okay? And, and what we think of him and what has impressed us about him, okay? Some of you might have little stories that you know about him. Some of you might have seen certain things that you want to know. And they gave birth to the Pope, and guess who was called to be to nurse his mother and his father and take care of the family and help to take care of him as a child, but the little sisters of the Assumption. So I, I hope you say we gave him his first bath. <laughs> so that, as a result of that, we were in his home and his families got, got involved with the lay movement of the little sisters. And um, there's a group called the Daughters of St. Monica, which was the first group of the lay women that were engaged with us. And as a, as a sign of belonging, they got the cross, the same cross that we got when we made our final vows. And uh, his grandmother gave it to him. And one of the things he said is he has it beside his bedside when he wakes up. Yeah. You know, because it's such a memory of his, his grandmother. So, that makes us own them even more. <laughs>